ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And this is a really big and good question. For those who do not have a working vehicle, or for those who do not have a vehicle at all, um, for carrying groceries, how do they usually get their groceries? Nine times out of ten, they'll probably call a friend, or a friend of a friend, or somebody, or call a cab. That way they can go get their groceries, and just carry their groceries that way. I mean, that's awesome, but uh, getting a cab actually costs money. But uh, for those who actually do not know, if you do actually have and uh, if you do actually have a bicycle or a tricycle or a quadricycle, then uh, you can actually get a trailer. There are actually bicycle tailor-made trailers, so you're more than welcome to look that up on Amazon and eBay, or just look it up yourself and you'll find it. So, I have one myself. And this is my bicycle trailer, which hooks directly up to the rear axle of my bicycle. Unfortunately, there are those as well who do not have a working bicycle, tricycle, or quadricycle. And also, there are those who do not even own a bicycle, tricycle, or quadricycle. So, for those who do not have a working vehicle, or they do not have a vehicle at all, and for those who do not have a bicycle, I'll just categorize, categorize that as that. But for those who do not uh, have a, and for those who do not have a uh, bicycle, and uh, therefore can, can therefore um, have no, re and for those who have no bicycle and therefore no reason to actually have a bicycle tailor-made trailer, if you're just down to your feet and walking everywhere, how can you find an alternative solution or resolution to actually be able to get bulk groceries without the needing to call a cab so that way you save as much money as possible but yet be able to go to a grocery store and get all the groceries or at least most of the groceries that you need and then be able to carry them to your place well an alternative uh, solution to that that I have found are actually called walking trailers. And as far as in my area goes, there's actually two places that carry walking trailers. Walmart is one of them. They carry a uh, uh, premium quality, I guess, type of material of a trailer. And it can carry some groceries and whatnot. I've actually seen some people actually carry those and use those uh, in my area. And uh, which is actually pretty good to use. And they're about, um, I guess like 60 bucks or something like that. Yeah, so go and look for yourself. I could be wrong, I could be off by a couple cents, a couple dollars or whatever. But also, there's another store that actually sells trailers too that are better built, they're more uh, utility made and more structurally, more structure, and they're more structurally sound. And these are actually sold at a place called Atwoods. So, for those of you who do not have an Atwoods, then Walmart would be a great solution. And those who do not have a Walmart, then Atwoods would be a great solution. But if you have both, then you have your options. So you can either go to Walmart or to AdWoods and then, so you can either go to Walmart or AdWoods and then you can look up the trailers for yourself and you can see which one will best suit your needs and affordability. The trailers for AdWoods cost around $160. So about $100 more than I do at Walmart. But at the same time, you get what you pay for. So if you want the lower quality, more premium type of thing, Walmart might be your best bet. But, uh, if you want a better, safer, uh, structurally sound type of uh, trailer for uh, going to a place and getting groceries and coming back and without having to lug them all on both hands and get really tired of the weights and whatnot and having to stop for like a couple seconds and then walk again and then stop again for a couple seconds, walk again, stop for a couple more seconds and then we'll get to and so and so forth and so forth and whatnot, then a walking trailer would actually be a best solution for that one. And so far, my personal resolution. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this video about doing that. So I actually have been wanting to do a uh, pedestrian type of uh, channel and whatnot, but uh, haven't had an actual uh, reason to do so yet. Well, now I actually have a reason to do so. I procrastinated, I procrastinated as long as I could. It's because I do have a bicycle and I do have a vehicle. But my vehicle is currently not working, so it is in the process of getting fixed. And my bicycle is currently out of commission as well. 
I need to get to my front and rear sprockets to clean that before I can uh, ride it again. I have a, the old chain is uh, old, worn, and torn, so I had to get myself a new chain, so I got myself a new chain. But I'm not going to put a brand spanking new chain on some grimy old uh, um, sprockets. So um, first I'm going to need to get my sprockets cleaned up before I can reutilize my bicycle again because I do have my bicycle trailer. So, But until my bicycle is back to functionality again, or back, so until my bicycle is back to full functionality again, I can't utilize my bicycle trailer to go get groceries. And until my car is fully functioning again, I can't use my car to go grocery shopping either. So my best deal to do is actually to get myself a walk-in trailer and then thereby I can actually, without using a cab, just go walk to a place, go get my groceries, and walk back. And if I need to, I can make multiple trips, but I don't know about that yet. So I have yet to gain that experience, and I'm about to get some experience. This is going to be a small experience for right now, because right now I'm running into a thing called the Feast of the Living Bread and Passover. So Passover which comes first, and the Feast of the Living Bread. So my grocery for right now is not going to be much. But it's going to be started something, and I might as well go ahead and get the trailer while I'm at it. So, because my, my bicycle for right now is temporarily out of commission, just as my car is also temporarily out of commission. But uh, I do have a roommate, and my roommate does have a working car. However, her car is also giving her problems as well. So, I am really fearful of even, uh, of even using, asking her, I'm really fearful of actually asking her for her help to get my groceries as well as her own. So I'm just going to stick to what I need to do for myself and do what I do to get things done. So I'm going to record uh, that for this.